Hello again. Quick video I just wanted to share. This power supply I use to charge my batteries from my car whenever you know I leave the door open. It is a Pyramid Pyramid Model PS-7KX. And I should have done a step-by-step -step thing, but it was rather simple. The I shorted I shorted the output accidentally with the battery cables, and that pop this is the O a 5402, and then further uh, research further troubleshooting, I found this Q2 a 9014 that had had that had uh, blown. I suspected it was on this line, and for a while I suspected this guy here, and then it led me to this guy. Um, like I said, a very quick video. And always, if you take things apart, these are the notes I briefly made. These are like where the wires go. This circuit board has those wires. This, this circuit board here. So mark them when you take them out. I took the whole board out. To inspect it and then the transistor wires back here I thought the regulator back there might have popped so I checked it out uh, and it was good but um, luckily I had one of the dials in my parts bin so let's just you know let's just turn it on it's a 13 volt regulated at 5 amps that's how I can charge my battery with it. 5 amps it takes about like half an hour to get me cranked over throwing the switch and we got 13.8 behind it is another one I, I built I put together with uh, uh, put together and over here is the mast the whole thing is the mast I'm just like getting ready to to do some coding um, but before I can do that, I'm translating the code from Keel to SDCC and using an ISP from Arduino. So I got the codes here for the Arduino ICSP that uh, is working. So now I got the codes from Keel to SDCC in this environment here, the MCU8051 IDE. But I have to translate it because MCU does not accept the four slash comments or remarks. I have to put the four slash asterisk ending with asterisk four slash. So you can imagine I got like 10 miles, 10 miles of code to remove those four slash remarks. And uh, that's about it. And, and some some other files I found I'm kind of like starting but I'm kind of playing with it you know I'm kind of improving in things so I'm kind of learning with this one and I'll be using hey maybe you can see this thing blink around um, to show that it's working this is the let's see oh my god my computer screen's going crazy well, I don't want to close it. Oh, it doesn't let me do anything until I close it. Um, let's get the uh, program writing. And it, it comes up on COM5 for the Arduino thing. This is pretty neat, but it takes a little while. That's what, how come I'm designing my own. If, if you look for LJ0778. You know I'm designing my own ICSP because it takes it a while and I want an ICSP. I don't want to take the chip out of the circuit board and you know put it into the programmer back and forth, back and forth. But yes, they're reading a a Bible book on picks. You know, some of these picks from a, the a programmer, the, the 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 author built for that pick. Sometimes for 8Ks, it can take upwards of 20 minutes for an ICSP. So I'm wondering. On the one I'm designing, it'll do things rather fast. Uh, 
but I wonder, I haven't transferred that many bytes yet. I've, I've only got it like to read the ID byte and uh, erase it. It'll do it really fast. Because um, I'm having problems interpreting the Intel hex format. Like these things will, will show, you know, each Intel line has a code. This one has nothing yet. Let's see if we open a hex file and uh let's go to c drive let's see this is read the ram it's a short little program but uh here it doesn't show it this just shows the byte but the intel hex format has you know address information check some information data the data bytes you know how many bytes on each line so i already programmed the arduino and the reason it's kind of here because showing it here, the cable, the ICSP cable I was using, you know, IDC cable that plugs into the boards, um, it broke here from, from the thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if I can uh, rewire it with, I was just about to see if a plug-in pin thing will, will, will go in here so I can just remove the cable and even make it longer. But anyhow, um, let's tell it to upload, and that LED should blink per byte. So there we go. It is. It should be blinking. Why well, did it kind of fast? I didn't see it blinking. I saw it like light. Oh, there we go. Let's tell it again. It's kind of blinking. I wonder if I see a blink better here. Yeah, well, I see it about the same. It's blinking pretty fast. It, it's not the fastest, considering it's only like a few dozen bytes. It's a short little program. Yeah, I forget it was just to read some ROM thing. So even that, that, uh, that, uh, you know, small amount of bytes is kind of lengthy. But it's going ICSP, and I, I don't have to remove the chip. I can just put it um, in my uh, in my in my uh, directly connected to the chip. Okay. Anyhow, I said the video wasn't going to be too long, so um, enjoy your day. I uh, hope it was kind of useful, and you know, somebody don't be afraid of it. Make sure you unplug the thing when when you open the case. Over and out, bye.